All right, David. <laughs> um, hi. Wow, I'm sorry, I almost <laughs> choked on this cheek. Great, can I do that again? Wow, I'm like, that was my thing. That was my thing. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna come and drink in my tea. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Claire Saffitz. Welcome to my home kitchen. Today we have another episode of Dessert People and I'm very excited to welcome my friend David Tamarkin. He is the editorial director of King Arthur Baking Company and we are making a delicious cheesy pan pizza and I'm very excited. I didn't mean to like force feed you black tea, but no, it's no. I'm drinking tea all day. David's a tea drinker. Long. I can't understand. I'm on my second iced coffee. I want to be. I want to be a coffee drinker, but I just it's can't. It's not that hard. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> just. It's not that it's hard. That's not why I don't do it. I don't think it's but hard to drink coffee. But why? It just makes me crazy. Kind of like how you're acting <laughs> yeah. right now, honestly. I know. I feel um, insane. We're making this cheesy. What is the actual title? Crispy so cheesy pancake. So it's CC. <laughs> what CCPP is what you say. CCP, okay. crispy cheesy pan pizza. Yeah. Okay. Pizza making at home can be tricky, but it can also be really successful. And I think this like sets you up for success because you do it in cast iron. So you get like a crispy bottom and right. sort of like a Sicilian style. It's I mean, like a little it's, thicker and puffier. Yeah, I mean, it's a pan, it's classic pan style. So it's right. got that kind of grandma style like, right. height, but it's this particular uh, dough is just super, super light. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I feel so crazy. <laughs> I'm so, I feel really crazy. I had so much caffeine. <laughs> Sorry. I've been so really funny. on low sleep this week. And it's, so I'm like, I feel like I can con compensate, yeah. but it doesn't like even out to zero. You just like go further in that direction you know, <laughs> with all the coffee. I'm, I'm so glad that this is <laughs> this is happening to you on my episode. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm here for you. I mean, and, uh, thank yeah, you. I feel better to, about that. Yeah. So the recipe calls for like a, around a 10 inch skillet, Yeah. but you can do it in a non cast iron skillet. You could do it in a cake pan, in, in a pinch yep. if you had to. The cake pan. And also the idea of like not preheating it, because I read ahead in the, in the instructions, when you bake it, you really make use of the oven zones. Like you bake it yeah. on the bottom and then on the top rack yeah. so that you get browning first on the bottom crust and then on the top, yeah. you know, for browning on the cheese and everything. So yeah. it's a really smart recipe and it's also really easy and I think super approachable for people who, who've never even made bread or like used yeast or anything. Yeah, and it's also very flexible timing wise mm. because you can, this dough, you'll, you'll see it rests anywhere from I think 12 to 72 hours. Mm -hmm. So you can fit it into your day. Do you have a logo on your glasses? Oh my God, are on you the lens. stoned? This <laughs> no. is so weird. No. I, it's like... It's, a, it's on the lens. It's, just like, it's catching the light and it keeps like looking at it. You are the only person who's... Yeah, isn't it wild? It's so weird. There's a logo on my lens. It's, I'm, and I just I'm like, I have it. to look through this my every day, <laughs> my entire life. Like, I should probably just go back and get that fixed, but it's been about four years. All so right, I'm well, not used to it. All right. You're the only person who's noticed that. Well, it's, you know, we have this whole thing. Right. Okay. Let me just practice breathing a little bit. And, yeah, uh, we can do... You know how to do that? I, I do seem, every single day seem to have a problem with it lately. Okay. Oh, really? I, don't, I can't do that. Okay, I can't meditate. <laughs> You're just dismissing you like meditate? this. You, tea, you drink tea and you meditate, David. Yeah, just, I drink tea and I meditate. Why are we friends? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> okay. The all-purpose flour, lukewarm water, which always messes me up, but that's about... What, what do you think it is? I think if you touch the water and it right. feels like you, it doesn't feel warm or hot than right. if it's body temp, yeah. and that's lukewarm. Right, so about 90 something degrees, yeah. 100 degrees is lukewarm. Salt, olive oil, and active dry yeast, which the pros call ADY, I don't know if you know that or not. <laughs> Other toppings besides store-bought or homemade tomato sauce? I mean, it's pretty classic. It's just mozzarella, Parmesan, basil. Yeah, talk about equipment. Anytime you're working with anything, with baking, or particularly bread, yeah. you just want to scale. It's just, you're just, it's so easy to mess up. And like, and I do think even 10 grams up or down can mm -hmm. really can really change the, the feel of a dough. Check out our essential tools video. I do this, and then there's like a little thing. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, David, tell me, what am I doing here? Do you know what I just realized? What? I don't see my book on your shelves. I don't think you have okay, my book in your house. Okay, first of all, okay, rude. And I'm gonna have I like, absolutely I have like do. 10 books I'm gonna send I'm, you, you know so what? that you have to be. Pardon me, I'm gonna go get it. 
I don't think because you have I it. Because I do have I it. I doubt you this have it. This is Harris's collection. Mine is in the bedroom. Her first of all. Oh, well, this is actually really sweet. If my book is in your bedroom, you read it at night to go to yes, sleep. Yes, I That's keep totally it by my bedside. Yeah. Like every night looking through my cookbook, like what am I going to make next? It's okay, Claire. I'm sorry. I can't it, find it. a really it. obnoxious thing to I say. I can't find it. Hold on. Did we get into a fight once, Claire, and you burned it? <laughs> and the wood, wood Wait, burning up? Wait, the spine is blue, right? It's orange. What? But like orange red. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Are your cookbooks organized by color? Please don't tell me that. No. They're not organized by anything. Okay, I can't find it. I have it somewhere. Let's start this dough. We've been trying okay. to start this for the last Sorry. 25 minutes. I don't know why I tried to start a fight with you before we I know. this dough. God, you know, put me on the spot. I'm sorry. I failed. <laughs> okay. Let me make this dough. So wait, it's two, it's, it's very easy. I'm gonna tell you how to do it, you're gonna do it. It's basically, yeah. um, you, you already weighed out your flour. Yeah. And then you're just gonna add your, everything else. <laughs> which you really are. It's just going to be it's three quarters just, of a teaspoon of salt. Would you that is that yes. given a weight or no? It's not given a weight because the scales aren't really sensitive sensitive enough to like it's yeah like most, four grams yeah, or something. Yeah, most. So okay. So that's just a, and that is kosher salt. Yeah, this is diamond I would, kosher. I would put in a little bit more honestly because we actually use um, table salt in our recipes. What? Yeah, to, on our test. Like I know. Iodized? What, I guess so. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. It's a little more. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and, and then, then yeast? it's in, uh, yeah, your yeast. How much? Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay, this I'm gonna be precise about. What I love about this recipe is it, and I've, I've, this is something that I've really converted to in my baking and in my recipe writing, is not proofing the yeast. Because it's yeah, like, no. I think that's that why, it actually why. trips people up. Yeah. Because they're like, oh my God, it might not be alive. Right. And it's like, it almost always is. So yeah. it's like, just add it to the recipe. Right. I like that a lot. And then add the water. Okay. And the most important things to weigh are, are flour and water, because then you want to hit the hydration right. Right. precisely. So, okay, well, 172, close enough. And then a tablespoon of olive oil, right? Yep. Okay. 13 grams, but or just a tablespoon. Okay. Okay. Great. So you can mix this in a mixer, but I just do it by hand. It looks like you just want to do it by hand. Yeah. So with you... my favorite tool ever, the <laughs> flexible. Yeah. Full scraper? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Yeah. So just, I mean, you could do this with a spatula or a wooden spoon or something. Mm -hmm. But you're not like kneading it. You don't have to work it because no. instead of that, we do a series of folds right. and stretches. So, and that takes the place of kneading, which is also just like a really easy technique. Okay, so now we have like no floury spots. Yeah. It's all hydrated, but it's not like smooth. This is like sticky in places because it? okay. the hydration hasn't been totally evened out, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not dry. So cover this and then all we have to do is let this rest for a few minutes, right? And then we're gonna go in and start to do the folds. Right, do the folds right now. Instead of kneading the dough, we didn't knead it at all. Like we just put it together, shaggy mass, let it rest for five minutes so that it can just kind of get some calm down a little bit mm -hmm. right, and hydrate. And then we're just gonna do the folds. So it's easy to do this with wet hands because then the dough doesn't stick to your hands. And the dough fold just goes like this. You just kind of reach under, fold it over into the middle, do it quarter turn. Four turns, Wait, that's you, what we call one fold, one series of folds. Do you do that? Like the stretching and folding right. over in like the four cardinal directions. Right. It's like mm -hmm. 90 degrees each time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we're gonna cover and let it rest again just for a few minutes. And right. so this is, as you said, is like, taking the place of kneading and it's right. helping to develop gluten. Right. Cause like if you want those big holes in your pizza and like mm -hmm. light airiness, you need gluten development, that structure. Um, and it's such an easy process. And we just repeat that three more times with a little bit of a rest in between. And you're gonna do those folds. I'm gonna do those? Okay. Right. So that's such a simple motion. And you'll notice like it will start to pull back, like yeah. give you a little resistance. And that's a sign of, yeah, you're building strength. Right. Okay, and then just throw a little cover on it and then that's it. So we're gonna do that. Now two more times. Yeah. So I have one, I did make a dough last night and put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that series of folds two more times and then show you what to do after the dough is rested and go into assembly. Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure here. that that's correct. Oh, no, no, it sits at room temperature for 40 minutes after you do the last series of, after the last set of folds, turns, folds, whatever they're called. Yeah, it's four turns at five minutes between cover and let the dough rest for 40 minutes, yeah. Want to grab the dough that's in the fridge? Yep. 
<laughs> I never opened the fridge door that forcefully because everything is I left. saw everything start to topple. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay. I was like, oops, <laughs> should have warned you. Okay, so this one I made last night and after I did the four turns, I let it sit at room temp for 40 minutes like the recipe says. So then that like sort of jump starts the fermentation. Yeah. And then it rests. So this right. has risen a little bit. If you were in a really hot kitchen and you kind of saw that the dough was already starting, like yeah. you could skip that. Wow. Right. So we got it's it grew. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And you can like literally see this the kind of strands, like that you can see the gluten. This is no longer shaggy mass. This is like the right, smooth, so smooth, supple. We're gonna oil the pan, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, a lot of oil, right? Or, or yeah, no? no, it's like a generous amount of oil. It said one and a half tablespoons. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Yeah. Close enough. I'm just so tempted always with pizza just to like go crazy on the oil. But it's probably, Why not, right? Well, I, that's how I feel. Cause I like that, I like an oily crust. Well, and it kind of, you know, it absorbs it and then it gets really crispy and yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I put a ton of oil in the focaccia that I make. So, and also ha working with cold dough is just easier in general. Yeah. It holds together better. Nice. Beautiful C. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> clean bowl club, you know, to be a, this is what my dad said to me. Uh, yeah, CPC. CPC, CPC clean. always. Yeah, clean, always. clean club. Do you, do you want a little oil in your hands? Yeah, that's true. Sure. This is like. Well, and I like the idea of like the wet hand and the oil because then right. you're not adding flour. Oh, turn it. Oh, turn it? <laughs> turn it to coat. Oh. Yeah, there you go. See, smart. See, that's a smart thing. Yeah. And okay. this, is, this is very, kind of feels very focaccia like. I know, I'm kind of know? jealous. So you're like stretching it into the pan and kind of dimpling it. I think the dimpling strategically okay. deflates it in places. Otherwise, uh -oh. you would get like a domed, like loaf shape. All right, so because I'm trying to not do plastic, I just do like that. Cool. Okay. All right, so we'll come back and stretch. Are, are so oily. I'm just going to stay here with my oily <laughs> hands for five rub minutes. Rub it in, yeah. rub it in. That, that'll be like um, moisturizing. What? Yeah. Should I do my head too? Can you take my hat off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't no, know. take the hat off. No. Yeah. You're going to rub. Why not? Do you make it? I'm oh, serious. I mean, okay. That's what you. Ball people. That's what. That's what we want. That's what we want. The moisture. Okay. I, do, I actually do do this with oil. Well, not with olive oil. <laughs> now I'm, now I'm <laughs> regretting this a little bit. I made a swap because right. we don't want to wait. We don't have two all day. Hours. Yeah, exactly. I have a job to do, yeah. <laughs> right. and I go to bed at eight because I eat at six. I, I go to bed at eight, so I gotta, I gotta go home and sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is one that I pressed into the pan and stretched this morning. You can see that there's like big air bubbles. Yeah. It has puffed. You see that it looks like it's kind of inflated. And when you when you press down, like it totally springs back. Yeah. Another reason why I really like this recipe mm. is it calls for either homemade or store bought tomato sauce. And I'm a yeah. big fan of a store bought like marinara oh, cool. type sauce. And I actually just had some. Oh, nice. So we have some of that. So the recipe says so you're using six ounces and. Then the first thing you want to do is take three quarters of it and just spread it all around, right? Yeah, right. Okay. And you want to get it to the edges. That's the key to the recipe because okay. it's going to give you that frico effect. Mm -hmm. But it's also to protect the dough from the sauce so that it doesn't oh. sog, the sauce doesn't sog the dough. And that's a trick that you can kind of use on any pizza, really. Okay, then sauce? Yeah, then sauce and then more cheese. Do you spread it around or just I think dollop? I like, I like how, I like dolloping it. Okay. Now I do the rest of this? Yeah, and that's a lot of cheese. So this is really it. This is all that goes on. And then this stuff, it can be for later. And personally, I would put a little chili flake on there too. At later. the end. At the end, yeah. All right, so I think that the oven's preheated. It feels like it. It's hot in here. Yeah, yeah. It's preheated the whole room. It feels like we're in hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're yet, well, you're yet. drinking hot tea, David. <laughs> it looks lukewarm now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this bakes first on the bottom rack, right? Mm -hmm. For 18 to 20. And then, so that the idea is that like it's getting all this heat radiating off the bottom of the oven yeah. to crisp the bottom of right. the crust, and then right. we switch to the top because we want a little bit of browning on the top yeah. as well. Right. This is gonna go in, and I will just say I have made the mistake of like grabbing the handle of the hot thing, so you know I immediately <sighs> me too do this when it comes out of the oven because yeah. it's just like yeah don't even yes. don't even give yourself the option. Yes, I've done that too. Okay, that was the worst burn I've ever had. Yep. Surprise! Because I looked and it's done, but it looks so good. We were gonna Sorry. try. I know. I'm gonna, I'm I gonna, I'm gonna pretend that. like it. I'm gonna pretend like I haven't Didn't seen it. Didn't you see? It. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I can't wait to okay. see what this. If it's done or not. Okay. Ready? Oh, oh my god! My. Oh, it does look. No, it does look so absolutely good. incredible. Holy shit! It looks so good. Oh my god! This is like the best looking pizza I've ever seen in my life. All right. So it actually pulled away from the sides a little bit, but I'm just gonna run this under to make sure 
it doesn't stick. I feel like I should let it rest a little bit. Like I'm just making sure it's not sticking. The recipe very helpfully says to transfer it to a cutting board or a rack just so that the bottom doesn't like absorb yeah. steam and get soggy. Right, right. Okay, just like another few minutes. They, you, they just missed you saying this. Claire just said, I'm actually really good at stuff like this. Like, so we're gonna I let am. Claire get it out of the pizza. Look, I'm, I'm, I say what I'm not good at, yeah. you know? But I'll also say what I am good at. What have you at. said you're not good at? I'm really bad at flipping things. Okay. Like if I had to flip this, I'd be like, David, right, yeah. you can do it. No, you, I think you. Wow, bro, you are really good at that. So this is why it's nice to have a really well seasoned cast iron, because like yeah. things don't stick. Let's see what's um, underneath. Yeah, I feel see? like the bottom is golden. It could probably be more brown, but that's golden. Yeah, no, it's, you know? it's good. That looks really good. When you're layering the, the cheese and sauce, you can put anything in there. I will, you could put anchovies in there, you could lay those mm. in, you could put garlic, you could put chilies, whatever. Pepperoni, Pepperoni. You could crisp some Italian sausage or something if you wanted to do that. Um, and then a little, I ran out of red pepper flakes. So we have chili oil. Oh, yes. Is that Perfect. too much? No, I think it's amazing. Okay. Okay, this is the fun part, okay. cutting it, yeah. You want to do it? You do the, you yeah, do the honors. Do it, yeah. Okay. These are actually like lobster shears, but I just use them as my all-purpose kitchen shears. I love that you can just pick the whole thing up. It's so good, and I love the chili oil on it. Mm. It has such good browning on top, so you get like so many textures in the yeah. one. It's like crispy bottom, super soft, pillowy, yes. light crumb. Right. Then yeah. like the gooey cheese plus crispy yeah. cheese. Like this is nice and crunchy, this mm -hmm. bottom. This is a pizza for people who think they don't like the crust of the pizza. Mm-hmm. And this would change their mm -hmm. mind because it's like, it is all about that crust. So much fun. Thank you for showing me. Yeah, thanks thank for you, me. Thank you, King Arthur. Where can people find you? I'm at, at David Tamarkin and recipes of kingarthurbaking.com. Awesome. Thanks for coming on as a guest on Dessert People yeah, and like and subscribe. And I like being officially a dessert you know what? person. David is my, I don't want to say my one favorite, I know, but like one of my top favorite. dessert people yeah. ever. Just like and I, the I best love that you person. say that. It means good to me. Yeah. 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 David was like my, my partner in crime when it comes to desserts. Right. But I'm and which is sort of funny that we did savory today. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But it's so good. Because we're dessert, though, yeah. Mm. Thank you. You're the best clown now. You're the best clown now.